Hey guys, good morning. How are you? It is Saturday morning here and I got the top bun rocking. I have a really exciting video today because it is only three products all drugstore and no foundation. It is my weekend, I just wanna get out, I got some errands to run, I wanna hang out and have a good time, I don't wanna worry about my makeup kinda of look, and it is so easy, you'll be able to do it in two or three minutes, and you're gonna look like bright and woken up after it's done. Seriously, this is gonna be a really quick video because it's only three products, like I said. So, we're going to start out with my new Hero product. This is the L Camo Concealer. I have a full video on this guy. I will link it up in the eye. I have been using this basically nonstop, and the things that I really like about this are one, the tone. It has a really nice yellowy tone for my skin tone, which is very warm tone, lots of warm undertones. This doesn't make me look gray or pink, and also, it does not need to be set. That's why I don't even have a setting powder here. I just have this, a little mascara. This is the travel version of the Clinique High Impact Mascara. You can use any kind of mascara that you want. I just chose this one for today because it's a very natural one. And then my Morphe High Impact Highlighter Palette. So let's just get started. I am going to go ahead and dot my e.l.f camo concealer and the the mirror is right here so i'm going to be kind of looking in there around my face where i need just a little bit of coverage and again or the point of this look is not to not you know have the highest coverage available and just you know look like you did a full face this is just to sort of even out the skin tone make it look you know like you have fresh nice skin and so i'm blending it out now because I self tanned, I am kind of trying to match my face a little bit better to the color of my neck. I haven't washed my self tan off yet. I just put it on. And this self tan is the Sane Moritz or Professional Faster Tanning Mousse. It's like a three hour mousse. I leave it on for much longer than that and I don't find that it gets too dark. If you're interested, check out that video. It's in the link in the card. Okay, so that is the concealer basically done. As you can see, it's nice and matte. It doesn't need to be set. It's not patchy. I just really like this concealer. So this is the Morphe High Impact Highlighter Palette. I got this from my sister for Christmas, or my birthday. My birthday and Christmas are right around each other, so I can never really remember. And I like to use this last shade right here as a bronzer. It's nice and deep. This palette does kick up a lot of fallout, so be mindful of that. But you see, it does give your skin a bronzy look, and I find that this highlighter palette is not sparkly, it's not glittery, it gives you a really nice glow. It looks really intense in the pan, and I'm somebody who's kind of scared of highlighter. <laughs> <laughs> so I was pleasantly surprised when I used this and I do use this palette specifically this shade a whole lot just as a nice little bronzer so we're doing that all over the cheeks it's just so pretty I mean I get a lot of compliments on my skin when I use this because it gives you a nice glow but it is not too too crazy this brush by the way isn't it pretty this is a r l moda i got this in my boxy charm last month and i know that i'm getting some new brushes in my boxy charm this month so that'll be exciting to use and then i'm going to take the shade comet right here which is a really pretty peachy tone and i'm going to use this just over the top of my cheeks as if it were a blush all right, that's it. And now I'm gonna take my fingertip and just put that darker shade, the shade I use as a bronzer, on my lid and just sort of blend that out a little bit. And this isn't to give myself like an eyeshadow look or anything, like I'm not trying to make it look any sort of, I'm not trying to make it look like precise or anything like that, I'm just trying to give myself some definition in the crease, some definition on the lid, because that way my eyes look a little bit bigger. Okay, and I'm basically done. All I gotta do is use my mascara. I'm using the Clinique High Impact Mascara. This mascara is not high impact in my opinion, it is very natural, but that makes it perfect for a weekend day like today. So you can see this is the eye that I've done mascara on and this is the eye that still has no mascara. It's not a huge difference. It's pretty natural. It's more of a lengthening mascara versus a volumizing mascara, but it does have that nice, very soft look. Your lashes don't look crunchy. They look very natural. 
Okay, that's both eyes done. And then, like I did in my can't be bothered makeup look, I'm going to run this mascara through my brows. Now beware, if you don't have black eyebrows like I do, or your brows aren't very full like mine are, I probably would err on the side of caution and use like a powder or an eyebrow pencil. But for me, this works totally fine just to sort of give my eyebrows a little bit of volume. But if you don't have black eyebrows, maybe steer clear of that. But this technique works really well well if you have darker brows and they're really thick. So I'm just gonna blend these through. So do you see the difference? It just gets a little bit darker, a little bit fluffier, but it doesn't make it look like crazy or anything like that. There. Now, probably you don't want to use your most lengthening, volumizing mascara if you're going to use this trick in your brows. Better to use something a little more natural like this. But anyway, that is the finished look. I think it looks nice and glowy and like you're very healthy but it, it's hardly even evident that you're wearing any makeup at all so this could probably be also like a no makeup makeup look this is just something that i like to wear a lot of the times on the weekend i wear this to class sometimes if i really don't want to you know go all out really great way for you to save some time on your face but also have a nice healthy look to your skin so anyway i hope you have a wonderful weekend wherever you are it's saturday here it's supposed to be almost 70 degrees today which is a huge deal the first 70 degree day Day is like ah oh, so wonderful you're just heart fills with life and you know what on Monday it's supposed to be 77 and sunny I might just like not go to class and work that day I'm kidding I'm not gonna skip I'm gonna be a good girl but I am going to be outside every single chance I get on Monday and today because it's just beautiful out so have a wonderful day wherever you are. Let me know if you like this look. Give it a thumbs up if you do, and please subscribe. Have a wonderful rest of your week wherever you are, and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye.